So, Miss Pearly Things has over a million subscribers. Gets all the support dealing with the red pill and the manosphere community, right? But nobody, 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 and, and she has a lot of black folks that surround her. But nobody's looking at how, how she was against the Me Too movement when she was a part of the Me Too movement. And you could tell that, that it's a lie. Marcus Robinson, right? He's not, he's not going to go on social media and make a channel to, to, to expose this woman. He said he's taking it to the proper authorities, right? And this woman needs to be prosecuted because she lied on that man. She thought she thought this is what this is what happened, man. That man was nice to his students, and she would go around thinking this. These words came out of her mouth. She would say that that men don't want her. The boys in the school don't want her. She's not attractive. Nobody wants her, right? Now she's getting all this attention, and now she makes videos about simp's, right? What happened was is that that man was nice to her. She she wanted a relationship with that man. Her own parents used to let her do do things outside of the school with that man. That had nothing to do with coaching volleyball or nothing. These are the words that came out of her mouth, bro. She was jealous when he would be nice to the other female students, man. Then now now she doesn't want him around her sister that's going to be in that grade. So he could coach his sister It was jealousy man And now she has over a million subscribers And got this big following And making this money on YouTube She has mental illness And people People don't see that A lot of these YouTubers Right That they, they are sponsored by people And if they're talking political Political stuff right That means politics is behind the, the sponsor man Right so they, they, they're funding a woman with mental illness to speak to y'all and entertain y'all. And y'all don't have a problem with that. Black men that simp and go on this woman's channel just to be around her. Do, like, do you guys really respect her or you just got, or you're just using her for a buzz? Like, what is it? This is disgusting, man. Get it together, people. So a lot of y'all wanted the facts on pearly things. I'm going to bring you the facts. <laughs> My very first video I ever did on this lady, uh, it did great. If you want to talk about people supporting the video in the comment section. Uh, but my second video on her, it didn't do that well. I still had some of the supporters float in and a lot of people hit the like button. But I went to war with the comment section, right? And that's And that's basically what I'm here for, right? Is to, you know, push some buttons and get some people mad. When you bring the truth, that's what happens, right? Because now the truth is going to come out, right? Did you did did just pearly things me to a black man, right? Yeah, that was her coach. But nowadays, right, she likes to 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 claim that she's against the Me Too movement, right? She likes to she likes to stand up for men's rights and and all this and that, right? But let me show you something. So this is why I was saying I stand up for Marcus Robinson. And you can't. You might not be able to see it that well. You can enlarge it uh, when you guys get the chance if you want. But it's basically saying how he's going to take the the the, the proper precautions with with his lawyers and attorneys on getting his case handled because she lied on that man. She lied and said that that man tried to sexually assault her when that never happened. And, and he's keeping off the record when it comes to any social medias. He doesn't want to tell his story. He's doing it through the proper authorities, right? But what's funny about this is that if she's so against the Me Too movement, why was she a part of it, though? But the thing is, is that she's getting quite exposed a lot. Let, let's get into this. This is one of the live streams where her story was all over the place. This is four months ago, so people are exposing this. All over the place. This this interview is, is is a little old, but four months ago somebody exposed this and brought this up again, right? And there were people in the comment section that, that were saying that they can't find none of this stuff. Well, why can't why why can't you find it? And I found it. <laughs> I went. To, I just found out who this woman was a couple months ago, and I'm finding all this stuff about her. Her story was all over the place, right? But the main thing is is that why are you so against the Me Too movement? 
But then when, when you got exposed and you were a part of the Me Too movement, right? Your story's not adding up. It's not adding up, right? Because the thing is, is that you, you, you were in love with that man. That's what it was, right? And you, you couldn't stand the fact that he was friendly with, with a lot of the girls. It was, he, he was a coach. He was a volleyball coach. He used to be a football player, right, for the NBA. And then he was a volleyball coach for college, well, high school. And, and he's got to be friendly to all the girls there, right? But you thought in your head that, that he liked you, right, because you, you did things outside, outside of school and your parents allowed it these are things that came out of her mouth her parents her her parents encouraged her to be around that man outside of school right so her 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 thought was that well this man can't be around my my sister when i go off to college we got to try and get him fired right he never got incarcerated then this the story was so fake it's disgusting it's disgusting and you can learn more about it right here all you gotta do is go to this video right here and you'll you can see for yourself they these people were not with her they were not on her side that i'm just speaking facts up here man you know what i'm saying and i got another one for you right here the video that i found was deleted but it was this same interview and she doesn't have the full interview on here no more this video was from last year this woman right here name is torsha Right, so they had an interview and they brought and, and just pearly things brought up uh, Marcus Robinson, and it just so happens that Torsha said, "Oh, I know him. I know that guy. He did that stuff at my school too." And these women are m making it seem like they don't know each other. They're just meeting each other for the first time, and that happened. So you just so happened to be there. I, I mean, you just so happened to to. He used to be at your school as well. And that, like, come on, man. Read between the lines, people. This woman is a fraud and it's disgusting. I don't care what kind of content she has right now. I don't care. I, 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 don't, I don't have any interest in debating her on the red pill uh, community or none of that. I want justice for Marcus Robinson.